Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can notice we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. This is a weekend edition kit in 170 second scale, it copies MiG 21PF and it is interesting release because this is actually the last weekend edition which will be released in this type of I would say boxing because as you can see it comes in this traditional blue colored box from the next year it will be a completely different concept so we won't be getting blue boxes there will be let's say normal box art and there will be more than two markings here you can see we still have two markings so in December there will be nothing there will be no weekend edition release because it was moved on the January and in January we will get completely new uh, concept of the weekend edition which is really cool upgrade in my opinion because price will be still the same but you will get more markings and you will get a better looking boxing as well but today we are going to talk about this set it is a commercial release so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it together as usual and check what is actually supplied here so first of all box size is typical here you can see comparison with my hand and we have two marking options as I said before depicted on the box art so you know what you get straight away and here on the side you can see some information about the manufacturer on the opposite side you can see profiles for these two marking options and that's pretty much all so let's open it it's a top opening box and here is what we have inside so it's a bit of a tight package but we still have uh, space in the vertical axis so I don't think every, anything will be damaged during the shipping to you and on the bottom we have assembly manual but we will talk about it later there should be also a decal sheet as well so just give me a second to open this plastic bag and in the meantime let me remind you that if you enjoy our videos do not forget to subscribe and you can also support us financially we have a special donate button on our website and we also have a join membership button somewhere here so that you can join our YouTube membership and get some special bonuses as well I definitely recommend you to check because it will help us improve our photo and video reviews quality and you will also get some nice bonuses as well so here we get first gray plastic sprue and due to the packaging into one plastic bag one part was broken off but it's nothing serious it's not damaged as you can see it's just broken off if camera will focus on it yeah now it's focused so you can see it's a part of engine nozzle nothing serious it's just broken off so I wouldn't count it as a great disadvantage of this kit and next we go on with what we have here so you can notice this one piece nose cone which is a really cool feature of this kit because it can be installed once whole aircraft is painted and weathered so basically you can paint it separately you won't spend your time trying to mask it around or something else you just paint it as a separate part and install it on the finished aircraft which is really cool because it will save you some time and it will speed up the assembly process as well and it is also beginner friendly this way the same goes for example for the nose winding gear section which is molded together with the cockpit floor here we have also several types of the instrument panels and cockpit panels so that you can apply PE parts on these plane elements and you won't have to send everything down so if I zoom in here you can see what I'm talking about and what else is interesting of course there is a huge choice of resin accessories for this kit as well so if you are not fine with the original plastic kit details for example here you can see pilot seat you can order an additional brassine set for a cockpit replacement or maybe brassine set for a landing gear wheel replacement also there is a brassine set for engine nozzle as far as I remember so basically you can completely remake whole kit out of resin and it will be completely different appearance because brassine brings you more features out of the box but it's not to say that the original kit is ugly because I mean even the out of the box plastic build will be a good looking result I saw several finished builds and they look impressive so definitely think if you need additional upgrades if you will be willing to spend time with them or you're fine just building a standard plastic kit and I think that's the beauty of the weekend edition because you will be deciding whether you want any upgrades or not 
because you are not getting any in the box. So here we continue with the clear plastic frame and it was packed into the separate plastic bag. As you can see we have canopy parts and we also have some cockpit parts. Everything looks nice but this is a weekend edition kit so you will have to buy masks by yourself. So they are not included into the kit and either you are going to cut them with your own tools or you are going to buy them as a separate aftermarket set which is sold by Edward as well. And that's a really convenient feature as well. Next, we continue with another grey plastic sprue. Here we have Fizzo Edge halves. So you can notice that Fizzo Edge halves or parts division mimics what we saw in the bigger kit. So we have these two large halves, but we have the bottom section molded separately. No scone is molded separately as, as I said before. The tail area comes a separate part. And here we have the tail fin which is molded together with this spine section and again it comes as a separate one piece element which will save you some time from the seams in this area. Here we can see that wing is molded together with lower fuselage section as I said before. And if I zoom in you can see that we have a standard Edward level of external features. It means recessed panel lines and rivets, which is really cool. I mean, this is a 170 second scale kit and still we get such impressive attention to small features out of the box. So I would recommend not to overdo with the paint and primer and all these features will be visible on your aircraft. And once we flip it over here inside, you can notice that the guiding pins are present in the fuselage halves and we also have this wing edge promoted together with uh, uh, or leading edge promoted together with top halves of the wing which is really cool because you won't have seams in this area and it means you can combine these two halves together and it will be a smooth joint between these two parts. Okay. One more thing is this small plastic sprue. So here we get additional cockpit parts. I guess they are specific for today's version. But we will have to check the assembly manual in order to be sure which ones will be used and which will go straight to your spare parts box. But you can see that overall level of detailing and molding is the same as what we saw in the first grey plastic sprue. Note that pilot seat is molded as a single piece part which is something different from what we saw on the first frame. And one more grey plastic sprue is dedicated to external equipment. So here we have external fuel tank, missiles and bombs. Obviously not all of them will be used on your aircraft so they will go into spare parts. And that's a really cool thing because you can use them with some different model and it might be handy for uh, fine details on your next project especially if your next model does not feature any of this armament. Because Edward gives you a really nice uh, missiles out of the box. And if you are not fine with this, you can get an aftermarket Brassin upgrade set, which brings even more features to this uh, section of the model, let's say. Okay, and one more thing is here. So as I said, we have a separate plastic bag with decals. There are two decal sheets. So just give me a second to open it. It's a resealable plastic bag, but it's a bit tricky to open. Okay. So first of all, we get a large decal sheet which was printed specifically for this kit. I thought it will be a universal one which was uh, released before but as you can see the printing date is 2020. We have kit number here and we have all necessary stencils for this aircraft. We also have the seals for the canopy as far as I can understand so it's a really cool feature. You can uh, just apply them on your canopy and not waste your time on the paint and the small features on your aircraft. And there is one more decal sheet which is smaller, it is dedicated to main symbols. Here we get not only the main symbols but we also get some cockpit decals. So you can notice we have seat belts, we have decals for the instrument panel and side panels. Which is really cool, basically you get the full cockpit detailed out of the box. If you are not 
I would say eager to work with uh, PE parts, you will be fine with these things because they will look nice in a small scale. In bigger scale I would definitely advise to resort to PE parts. Next we go on with uh, assembly manual, so let's zoom out. That's a typical Edward brochure, we have short history note and next parts map. Note how many parts won't be used on the armament sprue as I said before. Also some parts won't be used here and there. Only on this sprue we won't need this circle and that's pretty much all. So assembly process starts with the nose wheel well and basically cockpit floor. You detail a whole cockpit with decals or you can get the aftermarket P set and install it here. It will be up to you which one you would like to see on your kit. And next we continue with engine nozzle, so it should be assembled out of separate parts. Here we continue with joining fuselage halves and installing this uh, cockpit area and also engine nozzle. And there is a special ring which will uh, hold this nose area together. Then you install the lower wing section on the fuselage as well. Here you can see this process. Note that main wheel wells are assembled as a separate block inserted between. Next we continue with tail wings and also landing gear for the front nose section. And note that landing gear is installed first on the nose and then we will be working on the main ones. And what I also wanted to show is that wing mechanization is molded separately so it will be installed as a separate parts here. And what else? Here we have an option to copy the air brake in deployed or closed position, which is really cool. In small scale it still will be noticeable, especially if you place some kind of mirror under the model. Here we continue with main landing gear legs and their doors. Next you can see the special rocket boosters which can be installed as an option on your aircraft. Here you can see deployed air brake. Then we work on the pilot seat, so don't be surprised. Pilot seat gets installed on the later stages of the assembly. The same can be said about this nose cone as I said before. And here you can see that you get a choice between open or closed canopy. Next we have the armament assembly manual. There will be also loading scheme so that you can choose which one you would like to have on your aircraft. Here we have the first marking option that comes from Soviet Union 1979. And one more here is from Czechoslovakia, 1968-1969, silver aircraft. And of course there is a whole separate guide for stencil placement, not only on the armament but also on the aircraft. So even though this is a 172nd scale aircraft, still we get a lot of stencils to place. And I would recommend not to be lazy to install all this stuff on your aircraft because small scale model will benefit from all these tiny writings on it. So as I said this kit should be already available, you can get it on official Edward website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!